everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video probably one of my most exciting videos of the year um obviously i had an incredibly exciting vlog last week which was um filming with meg elphick as part of her vlogmas series if you haven't already checked it out head over to meg's youtube channel which is elphick event ponies and you can catch up on a one hour special where uh, meg rides fast and i also have a little jump as well if you have already watched the video thank you so much there has been so many lovely comments and there has been a lot of support Today, I am so, so, so looking forward to today's video, partly because I am going back, returning to one of my favourite towns in the whole of the UK, which is of course Windsor, where uh, you guys know Voss and I had a great two years where we used to um, ride and hack round at Windsor Great Park which was probably one of my biggest highlights actually since owning Vossi. Just riding around that park was just a dream um, and actually riding around Windsor Great Park was one of the reasons I am now working with uh, and really honoured to say that I am partnered with Tally Ho Farm which is the best tack shop in the whole of Windsor uh, and that's exactly where we're going to be heading off to today. Day, we are going on a very big tack shop trip just love their stuff they stock some of the biggest and best brands out there from the new area because you name it they have got it so let's go how exciting we're here So just arrived at Tally Ho Farm, just pulled up. I have a really funny story that I forgot to share with you actually. One time when I uh, came to Windsor Great Park with Voss on the back, I forgot to pack a saddle pad. Well, now my car, I can safely say, has about eight saddle pads in the boot. So I don't have that mistake again. But we uh, actually had to stop off at Tally Ho Farm to buy a saddle pad because we'd driven 45 minutes to obviously hack Vossy around the park and I didn't have a saddle pad. So the last time I came here was when I uh, came to buy a saddle pad. Uh, so yeah, just arrived, let's go. Well, what a surprise. Just arrived at Tally Ho Farm and this is the little Joey who is going to come on a tack room tour with us. Joey is actually the owner's, one of the owner's ponies uh, that the children actually use for mounted games. I've heard he's a right cracker at his job. So without further ado, let's go on a tack shop chore with Joey. Come on, Joey. Oh, thank you. We both going to fit. Section of the tap shop. Why are you so Joey? Because this is where all the fabulous treats are. What are your favourite treats, Joey? What are your favourite treats, Joey? Wow, there's a huge selection here, isn't there? Good boy! guys this is uh, Joey and he is uh, going to be serving anyone in the tack shop today Joey customer service skills good <laughs> I've heard he's a uh, very welcoming and uh, has very personal skills personable skills he likes to uh, make people laugh don't you mate yes I do I do right Joey let's carry on our little uh, tour around the shop what else is there that you want to see Can we go around here? Look at all the colours! Wow! Look at all the colours! 
ones, Joey. I feel like they'd really suit you. Or maybe not, they wouldn't match your head colour, would they? What about these, Joey? Do you like these? Do you approve? No? He's like, no, thank you. Not interested. I want the tree. Joey wants the tree. Joey! Joey! <laughs> Joey, Joey! Joey, come here. Good boy. Well, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it, Joey? What do you think? Are you a fan of the tag shop? Are you a fan of Telling Her Tag Shop? Well, I think Joey's absolutely loved his little tour of the shop. Be sure to come to Tally Ho Farm Tack Shop if you want to see a pony walking around the shop. I can't say you get that anywhere else. So I'm joined here with Libby, who is the store manager and buyer here at Tally Ho Farm. And she's going to give us a quick stop tour of the shop. So let's go. Where are we here at the moment, Libby? We're in the boot section. So in the shop, the main brands we shop stock for footwear a tread step area we've got a little bit of Pekua, um and dublin and shires we've got the autumn winter range for area um Love. we've also got a bit of chocomole there Love this. bit of chocomole here as well we've Love got this. linear which is really popular as you can see Love. oh my goodness look at this guys Super snuggly. Snuggly. Oh, that's so soft. Brand called Jods. Um, they're an Irish brand. Um, and we stock their kids' leggings, which I think are behind you. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, amazing. So you've got like adult and children stuff yeah. stocked in, in here as well. That's amazing. Yeah. And then we've got some leggings. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at this mini Ariat jacket. I didn't even know this existed. You can literally be little and large, matching with your uh, little little child. Twinning. Twinning. We've got See? lots of lots of grooming stuff. We've got the new Lumia grooming mitts. And <gasps> look at this. This is huge. Nice. Uh, Very cute. I've got lumia. this one outside my stable, which oh. is a lifesaver. You can hang it, hang it up, thread it between the bars. That's very smart. I didn't even know these were a thing. Grooming box. Right, Libby, we are at arguably the most exciting part of the tack shop, which is the saddle pads. How exciting. Tell us a little bit about what sort of saddle pads you stock. So we always have the Lumia Matchy Matchy sets in stock. Um, and we also sell Griffin Umed, Premier Equine, Shires, Weatherbeater, you name it. We it's can get it. <laughs> I love it. I love, love, love it. So, um, in terms of other other stuff that you stock, you obviously do a huge selection of riding hats, body protectors as well. Yep. Um, what sort of hats do you stock? Hats we stock. Kep. You can fully customize a Kep helmet here. We stock Uvex. We also stock Charles Owen, which you can fully customize. <gasps> Guys, I'm so excited! As soon as I came to the tack shop, I literally ran over to the hat section. Livy, you've been keen to show me the hats because you stock such a wide variety of hats. And one of the brands that is actually mainly only stocked in Tally Ho is the Kep brand. I have been such a keen, avid fan of Kep for a long time, but I've never owned one. Uh, so I was very keen to have a little try of the Keps. And guys, it's happening. I have just tried on one of the Keps. Uh, and actually, when you come uh, to Tally Ho Farms, try on a range of hats. All of the ladies here uh, are actually qualified uh, uh, hat saddle fitters, <laughs> qualified hat fitters, so you can get a professional hat fitting done. We're going to reveal the hat. Libby is going to tell us about the Kep hat that um, I have picked out. So this is the Kep Smart Polish helmet with a polo peak. Uh, we put a 56 liner in. How medium, beautiful. Medium shell. I love this hat. Um, I just love the shiny effect on it, the polished effect on it. I love the navy. As you guys know, I uh, compete in navy. That's mine and Bossy's colour. Uh, so let's get it on and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it feels amazing. I absolutely love it. Livy, give us a little um, fitting and show us what you check for when you check for hat fittings. 
and make sure the line is in properly and then at the side you need a good fingers clearance one to two fingers clearance above your ear and then I just don't want to be able to get any fingers up between your head and the liner which I can't so that all looks fab and when I put it on as well there's like a real nice sort of vacuum feel to it so it feels nice and snug um, and obviously with the different liners you can obviously experiment with what feels better can't you uh, you've got a 56 liner in there and 56 it's a liner. european liner but you can also get an american liner if uh you're sort of more shallow at the sides of your head and it just has some extra padding i can show you one here libby's got one to demonstrate so the american liners have some extra padding at the side definitely uh, loving the first tax shop item I've picked up here at Tally Ho Farm. Without further ado, let's continue shopping. So we've picked up the beautiful Kep hat and I have instantly of course been drawn over to the beautiful sparkly whips over here. So I'm actually picking up the stunning Woofwear Diamante schooling whip, mainly because I don't actually have a schooling whip for Bossy and definitely something I need to get on the agenda. So I'm going to be picking this up. Let's go, let's see what's next. So something that uh, all of us are questions need to keep on top of is our grooming kit. It's something I've never seen before, but I have heard uh, some stories about it is this uh, KBF 99 brush here which stands for Kill uh, Bacteria and Fungus 99 I'm assuming that's 99% uh, so I've heard great things about this brush let me take it out for you so this is essentially a body brush uh, and it kills bacteria fungi algae uh, anything like that never heard of a brush like that but really um, sounds incredible it's priced at 21 21 pounds it's priced at a pretty good price point for a brush that you know it's going to be killing bacteria and you know you definitely want to keep your horse clean so i'm gonna definitely pop that in my uh, little tuck shop trip but they also do a uh, face brush version as well so it's like a mini version to keep your horse's face clean and free of any bacteria and fungus growing on there uh, I know especially around sort of the bridle area around the horse's ears um, that can certainly get quite sweaty and prone to bacteria so I think something like this would be great for Vossi. We've got what I like to call my satisfying brushes we've got the uh, your tangle teasers for your horses and actually I've just seen a brush here that I've actually never seen in any other tack shop which is called um, the Tail Tamer and all I can say is before I, before I drop I feel like I want one for my hair. It's oh my god! It feels so. It's like one. It's like feels like tangle teaser. It's really soft and uh, really gets through the knots. I've got to add that to the list, guys, for sure. Also, I love the colouring. Oh, we come over to the beautiful shampoos and glosses. Um, I don't actually need any top up of this. So if we keep going round, see what we've got round this area. This is all sort of like the medical area, medical section. So touch wood, fingers crossed. I don't actually need anything from here, which is fantastic. But if we go over this way, we've got lots of different beautiful products here, like your tack cleaners, your nap products. And actually, uh, a great uh, little giveaway, if you like, uh, if you buy uh, some of the uh, NAF products here at Tally Ho Farm, you can actually get a free microfiber, microfiber towel. And I thought this would be brilliant for uh, polishing my new Kep hat uh, because you get fingerprints and marks on it because it's the polished version. So definitely going to be picking up one of these uh, two to add to the little shopping list here. Right, guys, I'm going to, my hands are getting full. I'm going to uh, pop this over here on the till at the side. Just while I'm here, I noticed earlier, I am a big sucker for country giftware and I noticed that Tally Ho Farm actually have, unfortunately, just a few remaining, uh, beautiful Sophie Allport uh, 
mugs and uh, fine bone china pieces. I particularly love this beautiful piece here of the beautiful deer. Uh, but the great thing about Tallyhoo Farm is that they are having, and they constantly keep up to date, a gift section. So um, let me show you a few more other items that they have. For example, this beautiful Hugo's Workshop pieces here that are all bespoke uh, and you can have your horse's name on it. You can have the location, like for example, stables, please do not feed the horses. And they're all personalised and they look absolutely brilliant. Really, really lovely. Another thing that has really been catching my eye as I'm sure a lot of you are as well, it's the new Tommy Hilfiger equestrian range. So loving the packaging, Tally Ho Farm are actually stocking just a few of their pieces uh, at the minute, but they are gonna be expanding the Tommy Hilfiger range in spring 2023. Here is the beanie, which I love. What do you think? I think it's super smart and it obviously shows the logo and it's just beautiful and snuggly for winter. They obviously have the beautiful scarf as well. I mean, I'm just gonna put it on just to show you guys what it's like. Absolutely love it. So if you want some Tommy Hill figure bits, pop down to Tally Ho Farm. That's where you're gonna find it. Love it. So something I have wanted for such a long time, mainly out of ease and also for safety, is one of these trailer, I'm trying to find out the technical term here, a trailer, bear with me guys, a bungee breakaway trailer tie. Uh, so basically, this straps onto the trailer, and then this quick release, uh, this quick release part goes on, to, attaches to the horse's head collar. It's just shorter, it's stretchier, and also it's you've got the safety part of it, uh, as opposed to tying a really long lead rope in a trailer in such a short, short space from the horse's head to the trailer. So definitely adding this. Uh, onto the list for sure oh, guys I didn't know I needed it until I saw it and this is why it's so good to come to tack shops because you forget what you actually need not a new saddle pad Charlotte a stable guard I had one for Voss last year and he literally broke through it so um, this one looks really sturdy and it actually looks great because there's no gaps so you don't have the risk of your horse putting its leg through it or its foot through it and getting it caught so um, I'm definitely going to be getting one of these. Comes in a nice bag here. So I'll just off with that. <laughs> the Ariat section, all the beautiful boots that they've got, but a huge fan of these grey and pink socks. You guys know I love a bit of grey and pink. Today I'm wearing grey and mulberry. Uh, but love a riding sock. I can't ride without them. They just help hold my breeches in and it's so much easier to put my riding boots up. So I'm going to grab a pair of these. Right, I've come over to the bridal section and this has also just reminded me uh, that at this time of year, I don't know about you, but Vossi is really sensitive where the reins sort of rub up and down his neck. Uh, and Tally Ho Farm actually sell these beautiful uh, wool cream um, rain sleeves. So these are essentially wool that Velcro around the reins to stop your horse from rubbing. <gasps> definitely, definitely a pair of these so uh, super happy that we've got these so I have now come over to the uh, treat section because let's be honest guys can't always think about myself uh, when I'm tack shopping I absolutely have to get Mr Boss a pack of stuff muffins and actually Tally Ho Farm are actually um, stocking the Christmas pudding flavour so um, definitely gonna grab a bag for Vossi I think he'll appreciate that so as we've just looked over at the stud muffins, which are a naughty treat, uh, I've just noticed and been advised that uh, the Bailey's high fibre tasty treats are fantastic for horses like Bossy, where you don't really want to feed them a high sugar diet because it makes them extra loopy. Um, I've heard that these are absolutely brilliant. Now they come in a five kg tub for around 10 pounds, which I think is a great price, but what's even better is that they have these Ecofill bags. So once you've bought one of the plastic boxes and you've used all your treats up, you can come to this tack shop and buy a refill bag, which is obviously very uh, sustainable and good for the environment. So I think on that basis, Mr. Voss needs his fibre. I'm gonna pick up a bag of these as well. Keeping tabs of this Libby because there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> So now we've had a wonderful tour of Tally Ho Farm Tack Shop and grabbed ourselves one of their famous hot chocolates. 
we're now gonna head over to their incredible art gallery, which is just next door called Country House and Stables, which is owned by Seb, who is a polo player. So excited for this one, so let's go. So I'm joined here with Seb, who is the owner of this beautiful art gallery here as part of Tally Ho Farm Stables. So um, Seb, tell us a little bit about what sort of inspired you to have an art gallery here um, and a little bit about you as well. So I, I am still a professional polo player yeah. for I think 27 years and I also studied art in school up to A level and obviously got consumed with, with the sport polo. But uh, I'm 47 years of age now, so I said to myself, I need to do something and reconnect with the love that I had for art. So here I am. I love that. I love that. It's a little bit like me, how I sort of join my marketing with my uh, social media and my love for horses as well. And it's always great when you sort of join two passions together and sort of work with it that way. From initial look, it looks absolutely incredible here. So Seb is actually going to give us a little tour now uh, of uh, some of the artwork in here and uh, some of the amazing pieces that are featured in here. So sure. Seb, you lead the way and absolutely. tell us a bit about the pieces. Absolutely, come in, come in. So we'll start here. This is Tyler Robertson. He's an American artist from Kentucky. He's, um, I've been watching his career quite closely on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love with his work, reached out to him, and then I think I am the sole representative for him in the UK at the moment. So I'm really excited about his work. Uh, Freddie Pask down here, he just had sellout um, exhibition in London. He was the artist in residence for the Queen during the Jubilee. His work is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Uh, uh, yeah, he's so good. Let me show you some more of his work here. So over here, this is Freddie again. Incredible. Yeah, and then over here too, I've got a little bit of frame too. So I'm this actually, is it this square piece here? This square piece and this, wow. this piece here. I love them. Yeah. So I'm actually going to bring his stuff with me to the London uh, International Horse Show. Oh, are you going I'm to London? Go, so yeah. Oh, amazing. So I'm going to set up a lot of that. I'm going to bring Tyler's stuff and yeah. Freddie's stuff. Um, also, I have Alice Gifts, who's a fantastic photographer. She's, it was one of the first pieces I ever sold when I opened the business, she's absolutely amazing. I've got to, uh, I've got to uh, lead you over to this piece because this piece to me is sort of a real standout piece and it really sort of depicts polo for me. So tell us a little bit about this piece over here. So this is Weatherly Straw. I also found her on Instagram. She's from Florida. Oh, and she's from Florida. She's from Florida, yeah. And she, wow. I just absolutely love her style. Wow. I've got, I've got, several other pieces of hers actually she's not just follow it which which i love about her work she's up there as well that's that's grace up there oh wow yeah. is it that that square one there? oh no that square one no that's from a that's from a separate collection this I'm one here the this big one, one here. i love that but also if you follow me this way so also she's given me permission to actually put her designs on perspex so i all, love that yeah so the perspex as well so it's all connected with this to the wall and it can also be kept in bathrooms it can go outside it's waterproof that's what makes it so so special really so i love that effect yeah. the perspex because it gives it that shine as well and as you said it's that protective like, layer like so in a bathroom bathroom yeah. perfect because people always get scared about artwork in bathrooms yeah, well, and it's the condensation you can't have it, it will destroy the artwork yeah yeah, yeah. So, so that's exciting i love um, that this is her as well so i'm thinking about having to do a whole range of perspex yeah, all this, all this, this is uh, really special. This is her too, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I'm also a big fan of the um, the sort of simplistic, is that the way you put yeah. it? The simplistic artwork with yeah. sort of the lines so, and the silhouettes of the horses. This is a very exciting artist called Quibi. Okay. He's French. Yeah. And I'm actually going to exhibit his stuff in London coming up in February. You should. For two weeks. Wow. And he's a minimalist artist and he's also very, very famous in the tattoo world. So, oh, and wow. these are all originals by him. Yeah. And yeah. this this piece here. And then this wall here, this is all Quibi. Yeah, I love so these. He was one of the first artists that I actually got in contact with. And and, wow. and again I'm a sole representative for him in the UK. So, yeah. So which is fantastic. Incredible. And that sort of makes it even more special yeah. um, sort yeah. of being here at, you know, based by Tally Ho oh. Farm Stables because 
not having artwork anywhere else in the UK draws people here. Uh, and if you guys sort of like any of these pieces in here, this is going to be the one place in the UK for you to get your hands on this artwork. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got another Perspex um, painting here, which is another from polo. Weatherly, from Weatherly, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love the blues and the greens. Um, really, really stunning work. This is Debbie Harris. She's yeah. also an artist that's been with me from right at the beginning. This is an original. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Jubilee Butterfly. Oh, I love it. Yeah, and it's absolutely that's an original. And also the hounds over here. She did these hounds for me over here. Yeah. These are coming with me also to London, London International Horse Show. Love that. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then again, we have Quibi Originals. Stunning. Yeah, and then Tyler's work as well. Tyler. I love it. Kentucky. Yeah, this is amazing. I love this. I love the size and the yeah. simplicity and the, the minimalism of it. And the colours are so like vivid, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful. So Seb, for anyone that's kind of interested in coming down to have a look at the artwork here, what are we talking at in terms of pricing? What sort of, what sort of um, prices do the, do the artwork start at and what sort of prices they reach at the higher end of the scale? Well, I have a broad range actually. I've got some loose prints which are unframed and they can be anything from £20, £60. We haven't actually showed um, the, the viewers what, what we're talking about here. So this is one of your yeah. prints that you're talking about? Exactly, yeah. So these are just, well, these particular ones are actually from late 1800s, early 1900s. And they're just all polo prints that were from magazines. So I put borders on them and they're just fantastic small And these pieces. are these are sort of like the cheaper end scale yeah. of and then you're talking up to yeah, well, the, the high end photos, the yeah. high end yeah, the, um, originals, art. the originals run into thousands. They thousands. Do, yeah. You are going to be exhibiting at the London International Hall Show, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, so. I'll be on, on stall C sixty and that's in in um, a very kind Elliot Ross and Company which is an amazing hamper company. Okay. They are going to, um, they've asked me to decorate all their stores throughout the year. Oh, amazing. So that's fantastic, yeah. So be sure to uh, check out Seb's artwork. He will be at the London International Horse Show if you can't make it down to Windsor. But if you can make it down to Windsor, I highly recommend coming to have a look at not only Tally Ho Farm Tax Shop, but also the beautiful art gallery too. So, I have just learned uh, about a really famous artist that uh, Livy and Seb have both been telling me about, Charlie Mackesy. Uh, tell us a little bit more about him, Seb, and yeah, why well, you think she's worked here. Well, he's, he's inspirational, really, because um, he really started people talking about mental health. It's actually all about mental health. And he's just, his artwork is very simple, and uh, the meaning, um, it's all about being kind, about um, appreciation, uh, just just stuff that I think when, when times are tough, especially during COVID, and, and it was just very, very inspirational and important. And he's just a fantastic artist. Um, I've been a fan of his right from the beginning when he first started uh, posting on Instagram. Uh, and I have I've been to um, all of his exhibitions. Wow. Yeah, I um, have a few originals myself. Uh, also, I have his book here and some of his prints, and I do get in signed stuff occasionally. So, wow! Yeah. And this I, is, yeah, this, this is, is actually one of the books that you're talking this about. This is the book. This is the Christmas edition. Uh, I also have the uh, limited green edition. Wow! So, yeah, and I just would like to give this to you actually as a gift, just to say thank oh, you for coming in today. Oh, yeah, and this picture you. too. This, this little picture too. Wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> This has literally been such an eye-opening experience to me because, you know, I'm all about, you know, positivity and, you know, when, when times are hard and when life, what life is hard, you know, what do you turn to uh, when, when those sort of situations in life occur? And, you know, that piece of artwork here, I just, do you know what I love? I love the fact that not only is it minimalistic artwork with the horses that you've got running through it, you've also got little hearts there, which sort of symbolises the love that I have for horses. You've got the musical um, instrument, the musical notes here. Um, just to me, if I look at this, this is like, ride your horse, go have fun and go live your life. 
and that summarises me completely uh, and this just I can't wait to find out where I'm going to put this in my house this is going to be the first piece of art Seb thank you so much you. honestly I feel like when it's up in my house I'm going to have to send you a photo yeah, of where I put it um, but yeah the book is absolutely I didn't even know this kind of thing existed but the book let me show you it's um it's got inspirational quotes on pretty much every page imagine how we would be if we were less afraid what is that over there it's the what it's the wild said the mole don't fear it just really lovely oh my gosh look how funny is that that's my piece of artwork oh my gosh oh it's brilliant i can't wait to read this properly um, oh, it's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And this is his new Christmas edition that you're selling yeah, so here. So this, this came out last year, but, oh, I okay. have, but I have it in stock. It's the Christmas edition, yeah. Brilliant. And I have is the standard one is blue, and yeah. there's also a green limited edition. Fine. So I have a few of those. And people can buy them here, can they? Of course they, they can, absolutely. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, thank you again so yeah, much, Seb. Pleasure. Well, thank you, Seb, for that wonderful tour of uh, your art gallery here. If you want to follow Seb and his artwork on Instagram or on your socials, it is The Country House and Stables. Be sure to check it out and keep up to date with the new pieces that are coming into the art gallery. Well, I am definitely all tally hoed out today, that is for sure. Thank you so much to uh, my brand partners and uh, the team at Tally Ho Farm for being so supportive and uh, giving me a lovely, wonderful tour of the tack shop. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, please don't forget to hit subscribe uh, and also be sure to uh, give Tally Ho Farm Tack Shop a follow on the socials and I'll include a link below. Uh, and I will also include a link to their website below as well where you can shop all these wonderful pieces.